Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to count down the top 10 La Liga wonder kids. La Liga has always produced elite talent, especially over the last 30 years or so, where they've dominated European competition. Let's see what the future of La Liga has in store though. In 10th is Rainier, signed by Real Madrid for $34 million from Flamengo in 2019. He spent the last couple of seasons out on loan in Germany. His most recent loan spell is with Girona. Thus far he has one goal in seven appearances. He's yet to be capped at a full international level, but has played regularly for the Brazil under-23. Next up is Nico Gonzalez. Despite making 37 appearances for Barcelona in the 21-22 season, he was sent out on loan to Valencia this campaign. With Sergio Busquets not getting any younger, this guy could play an important role in their mid midfield very soon. Tangai Nianzu. He was signed by Sevilla for $15.75 million last summer. He came through the PSG youth system before he moved on a free transfer to Bayern Munich. So far in his short career, he's already won French and German league titles. In seventh, we have Anzu Fati. After bursting onto the scene in the 1920 season, things haven't gone so well for the young Barcelona player. During the last two league seasons, he's made just 17 appearances due to recurring injuries. More recently, he's managed to refine his form though and played some matches at the World Cup in Qatar for Spain. Nico Williams, like his brother Ignacy, a product of the Bilbao youth system, he's already played 57 league matches for the club. Time will tell whether he sticks around in the Basque country, or whether Europe's elite will prize him away. Another product of La Masia, Elias Maribo broke into the Barcelona first eleven in the 2020-2021 season. A breakdown in relations with the club led him to join RB Leipzig in Germany for $22 million. Things haven't really worked out since though, and he spent the last two seasons on loan at Valencia. In fourth, we have Pedri. Signed by Barcelona from Las Palmas for around $8 million in 2020, he's since become an integral part of their team. This season, he's had his most successful in front of goal, registering seven goals in 30 matches so far. The youngest player on our list, Gavi is another who progressed through Barcelona's youth system. He made his La Liga debut at the age of 17 years and 24 days against Getafe. Since then, he's become a core part of the side for Barcelona and Spain. With the latter, he started all of their World Cup games in Qatar 2022. Our runner-up is Eduardo Camavinga. The French midfielder joined from Rennes in 2021 for a bargain $36 million. Since then, he has become an integral part of Real Madrid's midfield, helping them win the Champions League and La Liga last season. But, on to the overall winner. It's Jeremy Pino. Like Pedri, another who progressed through the Las Palmas youth system, he went on to join Villarreal in 2017. At the age of just 20, he's already played 105 games for the club, helping them win a Europa League title in 2020-2021. So, there we have our list. I think it's safe to say the future of Spanish football looks pretty bright. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.